Welcome to Drafting for the Theater, a new series. The first video in our series is all about AutoCAD 2019 for theater. I'm a teacher, so I'm using the student version of AutoCAD, which is available for free if you have proof that you're a student from the AutoCAD website. So what we want to do if you're just starting out is we can just click Start Drawing. And the first thing I'm going to want to do with my drawing is set some user preferences. So if I go to the top left hand corner of the screen where the red A is and click on it, I can go down to Options towards the bottom of that window. So I'll click on Options. And then I want to go all the way to the right tab to Profiles. Now there's a default profile, but we want to leave that one alone. So we want to click Add to List over on the right of the window. And I'm going to create a name for it. It could be whatever you want it to be, something that makes sense to you. So I'm going to put New Profile. I'm going to, and you could have a description if you think you might have many profiles of what's going to be in it, but I'm just going to leave that alone and click Apply and Close. Then I'm going to highlight it under Available Profiles. I'm going to highlight New Profile and then click Set Current. And that means all the changes we make now are going to be under the New Profile. So I want to go over to the second tab, Display, and here you can change your color scheme for AutoCAD. You can have it be dark or light. I'm going to stick with the dark. You can also choose to have scroll bars at the bottom and right of your window, but I don't want that because it takes up space that I don't need to lose and I can use my mouse to move around. You can also choose to not show tooltips and to not show the extended tooltips, but I'm going to leave them because especially for beginners, I find them very useful. You can also change the size of your crosshair, which defaults to a small size, but you could have it go all the way up to the whole size of your screen, but I'm going to leave that alone for now. The next one is Open and Save. It's the third tab. Now you can choose your default saving option as your file type. It defaults to 2018, but if you know that you're going to be sending all of your drawings on to someone with an older version, you may want to select 2013 as your file type. Now older versions of CAD cannot open newer versions of the drawing files, but newer versions can always open files that are from older versions. I'm going to keep mine as 2018 because I know that I can always save as my file when I'm ready to save it to someone who might have an, send it to someone who might have an older version of CAD. So I'm going to leave that alone. Now below that are automatic saves. Right now it's set to 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes AutoCAD is going to create a backup of my file. And that means if the program crashes, I'll lose at most 10 minutes. You can choose to make that longer if you're feeling like living dangerously or shorter if you're a little more nervous about crashes. It does create like a little momentary lag in the computer. So I wouldn't say make it like every minute because you might find that annoying. Next, we're going to go up to user preferences the tab. And here we want to make sure that we're set to inches for our insertion scale. And then here if we click right click customization, we can choose the behavior of the right mouse button. So I'm going to choose to turn on time sensitive right click. And what that means is when I click the right mouse button, it'll have a different behavior than a long click. And we'll find that really useful and we'll go over that a little bit later in the video. So I'm going to click that now and then hit apply and close. 
And that's about all I'm going to change right now. So I'll hit OK. And then I'm going to go back up to the A and hover over Drawing Utilities and then select Units. I want my length type to be architectural. I'm working in the United States in theater and I want to do architectural. And then you can choose the precision that you want. You could go from whole inches all the way down to 1 256 of an inch. I'm going to choose 16th of an inch. That will be useful for theater. And then just double checking that your scale here is in inches. And then I'm going to click OK. So now that we've made these changes, I want to save this as a drawing template so that when I create brand new drawings, I can go back to that template. So I'm going to go back to the A, and I'm going to hover over Save As, and then Drawing Template. So you can have whatever name you want. I'm going to call it Drafting Template. Now I had previously created a Drafting Template, but I didn't like it, so I'm just going to save over it. You can make a new one, and it can be whatever name makes sense to you. And the benefit of a drafting template is that you can always start with the same file and then it'll force you to save a new name. So it could be your theater one so that you're not always accidentally saving over your base drawing. So I'm going to click save and it says, hey, it already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes, I want to replace it. But if you're making a brand new one, you shouldn't have that option coming up. Then you can choose to add a description to your template. But I'm just going to leave it as is and click OK.